rolling. All right, good morning, actually, good afternoon now. It is still raining outside, and I was supposed to be making a video about the Pentax K1000 today, but I'm gonna have to push that for another day next week. I'm a little bit behind, I have a few videos in the queue that I've planned, but work and other life things just got in the way and they take priority. I figured I would talk about something that would get you all to know me a little bit better. What better topic than the personal camera that I carry and take with me every day, my daily driver, the Leica M6. I've used it on this channel and in a few other videos before, uh, mainly because it's the camera that's always in my bag. I don't really think about what camera am I gonna take out with me today? That one's just always there. And not having to think about it uh, results in me using it more and shooting more. This camera was given to me by my dad four years ago or so. He's got a few of them. He's a Leica collector and he uses them. I wanted to use a 35 millimeter rangefinder, so I borrowed his and I've been using it almost every day since. And I don't know if I'll give it back. Maybe I'll buy it from him because I don't think I can give it back. There are a lot of videos out there that talk about all the tech specs or like how to use it. Is it the camera for you? This video is not that. This video is about the one thing that a lot of people touch on and it's the Leica M6 experience or the Leica look. There's probably a lot of different things that are related to this. The experience you know, results in all kinds of different looks and styles that people shoot. But there's one thing that I'm curious to see if anybody else uh, has experienced. It's the fact that once you get used to it, becomes a uh, part of you. And as romantic as that sounds, um, what I really mean is I don't think about this camera when I'm using it. It just happens. I pull it up, put it on my face, and I'm not really uh, aware of, you know, while, while you kind of feel it and, and it is usually cold and all of these things, when I'm putting together the image and trying to think through what I want, I'm really just thinking about the end result and, and not, thinking about how I'm supposed to operate this camera, where are the corners or um, where are you know, some of the settings that I need to change or what should I do. It just feels so effortless. And no other camera has done that for me. That might be a result of the, the design of it. It's really hard to put into words because you know, I've had it for so long. I've used it every day for, for about four years. That has something to do with it. But I've also had other cameras that I've used for a long period of time too they never really gave me that experience. So I'm curious if you have had this, maybe with other cameras, and what are they? And I'd love to maybe get my hands on one and see if, if it's kind of just the, the style or the way it's, it's built that causes it to do that. Or if it's uh, something that just, the, the secret sauce that like uh, threw into this camera. This has been with me and, and it's even more special now because it's documented my kids and my family vacation all the work trips that I've been on, it's just there. Usually if I'm, if I'm doing any kind of video work, it's, it's slung across my body and I just pull it up and take a picture and it doesn't interrupt anything. It's just part of me walking around. It's really changed the way I shoot. It's kind of helped me define my style, this documentary style that I have that I think is me. Usually I'm trying to replicate it. And when I'm using this camera, I don't even think about the style. I don't even think about what I'm doing. And anytime I use other cameras, I am more aware of my style and I'm trying to replicate whatever it is that this camera gives me. Let me know what you think if I'm just kind of being overly romantic and it's just a tool that I've used for so long that I'm now really, really used to, or if you've had a similar experience that you just can't put your finger on. This camera really ultimately feels like uh, this car that you've driven for, for a really long time and any other camera feels like a uh, friend's old truck that you have to drive really quickly to, to borrow, to move a couch or something. You can feel every input and the result of it. This is really all I had to talk about today. Uh, just a quick little update video to keep the conversation going. If you have a similar experience with the camera, uh, different camera, same camera, let me know your thoughts. If you think I'm being overly romantic, make me self-aware, please. And uh, like and subscribe. I have a few videos coming up in the next month uh, about some film stocks and uh, other SLRs. Uh, I really have been enjoying making those videos about more entry-level SLRs and the different uh, details that they have. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.